Accidents involving hydro cranes have been increasing over the past three years. Most hydro crane accidents lead to serious injuries. Hydro crane related accidents include rollovers, electric shock, falling, and collisions. Let's take a look at the basic items and inspection methods for hydro cranes. First, let's take a look at the definition of a hydro crane and hydro crane types. A hydro crane refers to a crane that can be moved to any location and is equipped with a hydraulic boom for lifting heavy items. Hydro cranes are categorized into truck cranes that are equipped with wheels on the lower portion, rough terrain cranes that can be driven and operated from the same cabin, and all-terrain cranes that combine the advantages of truck and rough terrain cranes. Next, here are the main structure and safety devices. A hydro crane primarily consists of the following. A hook for lifting heavy materials. A boom for moving the hook to the desired position. A turntable used to rotate the upper portion of the crane. Wire ropes wound on a drum to lift and lower the cargo. Counterweights in the rear for maintaining balance of the crane. And outriggers for preventing vehicle rollovers. Primary safety devices include an overload limiter that signals an alarm when the cargo exceeds the weight limit and stops the hoisting operation. An overwinding proof device that signals an alarm when the hook is raised above a certain level and stops the hoisting operation. A derricking limiter that maintains the safe level of the boom. A hook safety latch that prevents unintended disengagement of the sling rope from the hook. And an outrigger extension pin that prevents outriggers from shrinking. Next, here are the pre-operation inspections. Hydro cranes are inspected periodically once a year after initial registration according to the Construction Equipment Management Act. The operator must possess a crane operator's license. When the hydro crane is brought into the site, the Construction Equipment Work Plan, Construction Equipment Registration, Hydro Crane Operator's License, Insurance Card, and other necessary documents must be reviewed. When working with mobile cranes, the soil conditions of the worksite, suitability of the work plan based on specifications, sufficient distance with high voltage power cables, and safety measures according to the wind speed must be checked at all times. Next, inspection method using the standard safety inspection checklist. Before inspecting the crane, the inspector must wear the necessary personal protective equipment and must check for any hazards in the surrounding area. A hydro crane must be inspected on a flat and firm ground. With the exception of operational status checks, all inspections must be performed while the engine is turned off. Firstly, the inspection method for the overload limiter is as follows. Make sure that the work radius and max load of actual measurements matches indication of the monitor. And check that the overload limiter has not been tampered with. Monitor malfunctions may result in failure to detect overload and may result in the crane rolling over. Next, the inspection method for the overwinding proof device is as follows. Make sure that signals an alarm when the hook is raised above a certain level and stops rising. Failure of overwinding proof device may result in deviation or breakage of the wire ropes and may result in dropping the materials. Next, the inspection method for the hook and sheave are as follows. The hook safety latch must open with ease and the sheave must be free of deformations and wear. 
Damages to the hook safety latch may result in the sling coming loose while lifting, leading the cargo to fall. Here are wire rope inspection methods. Inspect the wire rope visually and use a tester to check for wear and tear and other damages. Damaged wire rope may cause the hook or cargo to fall and it must be inspected regularly. Next, the inspection methods for outriggers are as follows. The outriggers should be extended to their full length and outrigger extension pins must be inserted firmly. Make sure that solid blocking under all floats is flat. If blocking isn't flat and solid, it may sink while in operation, leading to a rollover. Next, the inspection methods for counterweights are as follows. Make sure that the number and capacity of the counterweights matches the manual and check that no extra counterweights have been added. Adding extra counterweight may result in malfunctions and also voids insurance claims in case of an accident. Next, the inspection methods for wire rope displacement prevention pins are as follows. Make sure that the wire displacement prevention pins are installed on the top sheaves to prevent wire ropes from being displaced. Missing wire rope displacement prevention pins may cause the wire rope to be displaced, leading to the dropping of the hook. Next, hydraulics and cylinder inspection methods are as follows. Check the leaks in hydraulic cylinders and connection hoses. Hydraulic leaks lower the pressure and reduce the functionality of the cylinders. Finally, inspection methods for various lights are as follows. The operator should activate the headlight, tail lamp, turn signal, and emergency signal while the inspector checks their proper operation outside. Not turning on necessary lights during operation may result in unsafe operations. Here are the safety management points. Overload limiter must not be tampered with. Always obey the weight capacity when lifting. The operator should never leave the cabin while lifting. Set up a work perimeter and prohibit other workers from entering the work area. Never drag construction materials. Always expand the outrigger fully before beginning operation. Always retract the boom when moving. Listed above, basic safety rules must be obeyed at all times. On site, the supervisor must review safety beforehand through work plans and other documents before the hydro crane is brought into the site. The supervisor must also prevent possible accidents by inspecting it correctly before and during operation. This has been the inspection method using the standard safety inspection checklist for hydro cranes and safety management points. Thank you.